Hello and welcome back to my let's play on Total War Free Kingdoms of Liu Bei on F Legendary Difficulty, where last time we left off. Things were about to kick off. We had just married Sun Wen. It's happened. You guys happy? I hope so. Uh, it, it'll be like a week or two before you guys even see that episode, but still, it happened. Um, so that's, that's uh, yeah, that's good. Uh, however, what isn't good is that one turn before Realm Divine triggers, when this building gets upgraded, uh, and we get to 600 out of 600, Gong Shinzan decided this is the time for war. <laughs> and not just him. I think that's like, that's, you know, that's probably the biggest part of it, but not just him. At the same time, he decided, you know what, I'm gonna ask my fucking ally, Dong Min, to join in. Who, of course, then also asked their vassal, the Han Empire, to join as well. So, instant fucking Lee, I have a massive problem. And also, I... They fucking betrayed me. I just realized this as well. I was selling loads... I was giving loads of food to them. Um, and I guess the Gong Shinzan as well, because I've got 61 food all of a sudden. And that's all fucking back in my bank again. But my income, however, is still trash. Um, so that's really shit. So who needs some fucking food? Because I certainly have some spare. Again, then again, if I give him food, uh, <laughs> and then next next turn round divide happens, maybe I just make. I don't, no, I don't. I want regular payments because I'm, I'm still not sure if he's going to join his, uh, his his brother or not. Actually, it's not even his brother anymore. At this point, it's just some fucking cousin probably. Uh, that's terrible though. I'm afraid I'm 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 uh, <laughs> I'm in need of money, but not that badly. I'm already... Oh, right, yes, I was going to sell you food again. Uh, even though I'm not sure if you're going to be one of the factions I'm going to go to war with next turn, but I've got your daughter, so... God, this this really sucked. That war has actually really made things a lot worse, because we're seriously going to have a problem soon. Uh, it looks like, yeah, I need to add a lot of food to get that wharf, so that's not... Wait, we're in the wrong way. Ah... Uh... Uh, oh my goodness, please. There we go. Alright, 411 food, 526 per turn. That's going to help a little bit. Still nowhere near what I was making before, though. Um, it's also not even... It's not an alliance war, it's just me personally, so... I guess I could try and have you join in, at least. I wonder if that works. Um... Because if that help, if that works, yeah, we can make that work. Then at least, as Realm Divide happens, I'm not the only one fighting him. He's going to be attacking Yuan Tan as well. Uh, no. Fuck, I've got, oh, I've got a marriage I can offer you. Oh, of course. <laughs> oh, it's not even that bad. Tsai Zhong. Um, wait, isn't that my... <laughs> isn't that my, um... Isn't that my spy? Hold on. I could have swore it. Wait. <laughs> That's my spy in his court. Did he somehow put him into the family? Also, I've got loads of fucking points here. Holy shit. Um, oh man, I need to spend that. How have I not been doing that? Fuck. Okay, I need to do this first. Um, did that wife actually... I totally... Made her pissed off and made her leave, but then I didn't actually think about recruiting her. Although I'm not sure if she ever even popped up in my court or not. Okay, let's make a bunch of people who are actually in office rebel. I should have spied on Gong Shinzan, fuck. Okay, well, this guy's a general. We can make him instantly rebel. So why don't you discredit um, this young Chuang guy? Find your modus, uh, murder the courtier too. Yep, and he did it. All right, so he's gonna probably leave. Maybe, hopefully, take his army with him. Um, this guy is also gonna do the same. So discredit him too. Commit again, and we succeeded again. Then, anyone else? I can make completely pissed off. Yep, it's minus 30, so actually, Zhu Yue, I can actually make him pissed off too. Thing is, though, I actually... Well, this will still help me, but again, it's more that I was hoping they would fight each other. But now I'm, I'm 
destroying him. Okay, that's it. Uh, then we've got you still, though. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I can't get him, I can't get him. I, can, I can't get you either. I can make some other random people leave. Oh, he's actually really unhappy right now. She's a family member too. Yeah, fuck it. There's not much else I can do right now, right? Commit. And he succeeded. So she's leaving as well. <laughs> this is fucking his entire course like... Wait, he's just, gonna make it, he's just gonna be making more money from all this. What am I doing? Alright, I want uh, this guy again. Because I might actually... Oh, I can make her leave. She's a legendary character. Now, I want to get him lowered. It, I should have done it with both the characters, actually. And then I would have actually had him on zero, I'm guessing. And they would have left, but oh well. Alright. I'll, uh, I'll leave the rest of the points for now. That seemed quite effective. Right, I was doing the... Uh, I was trying to make him join my war, though. Why you? So let's do that. Uh, I want you to join my war. Against Gong Shinzan. But, oh, I need to confirm, sorry. Select. Um, and I'll give you in return a bunch of food. How about that? Oh, fuck me. Oh, he's out of food. Oh, okay. Well, what I'll do, actually, is I'm not going to request money <laughs> over time, because that's not going to happen. I'm going to take fucking loads of money from him. Ooh, I can actually get a lot of money from him, I think. So I can give him more food, because I'm going to get the food back next turn anyway, aren't I? Actually, I don't know that, how that works, but I'm still going to do it anyway. So let's take loads of fucking cash. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, no, actually, I mean, I don't care how much he's going to like me, because... Okay, it was definitely not as high as that. I should have I not cared. Alright. Um, we got eight grand out of that. And him joining my war. Treachery. Actually, I'm still trustworthy. So he's got loads of food now, but he's going to lose his food again next turn. Okay, I did sell all my food for that now, though. But I'm going to get it back next turn, and I should be able to sell my food again, right? Okay, good shit. Right, let's do the final preparations next turn. It's war, I think. Again, I'm not sure. Uh, also, when is this available? Because when this is available... We're getting that minus 8% corruption, I believe, and then we're going to make a lot of money all of a sudden as well. That should be an extra thousand or so per turn, which is going to help a lot. Um, I think any towns like this should probably be upgraded because the garrison gets increased by quite a few units, which could mean life or death in some situations. So I think actually I'm going to focus on all the smaller things. That level 1 place probably pretty high priority. Then again, it probably is better to level up from level 2 to 3 than from level 1 to 2. Alright, let's not spend the rest of our money, because I don't exactly know what's going to happen. We might go bankrupt instantly. In fact, I'm going to leave on, uh, hold off on that one. So I don't know what's going to happen with all of our trade and stuff. I don't know who we're going to be going to war with right now. Honestly, it's a mystery for me as well. Uh, there's only one way to really find out, though. Hopefully he deals with that, by the way, because... I want to fucking get in here next turn immediately and take this capital. Again, if he's one of the... What if he... If, what if Sun Jian is not even one of the factions that's going to declare for Emperor? And it's up here somewhere, and I'm just... I just got my best army down there. Well, not my best one. This is probably my best one. But anyway. Let's do it. No more fucking talking about shit. Here we go. Um, oh, you're willing to pay me a thousand bucks for that eavesdropper. Yeah, I'll take that. Eavesdropper sucks anyway. Dong man, you better stay the fuck away of Lu Bu. He's, I bet he's still out there. Han Shi, so young Mo Lu. Sunai, Shun Ying Tian Yi. Yang Yang Da Guo, Xian Ru Fen Zheng Luan Shi. Tung Jing the Zhu Ho, Ru Jin, Ge Huai Gui Tai. Jiu Shi Yi Wang, Tian Dao. There it is. 
All right. What's... Oh, we're not at war of him, so I wonder if he's not one of the ones... We're not War of Kong Rong either. Okay, well, I was actually going to say, first of all, what actually would have been really interesting is, um... It, I, since I did it down here with Sun Jan, I should have probably parked an army... Wait, that's not his... Did he change his capital in the last turn? But that's not fair. Wait, I don't know where his capital is. Oh, it's over here. Yep, he's one of them. It's the Kingdom of Wu. So it's not Yuan Shao then, because Yuan Shao's capital's right there, and it's not him. So am I... Fuck, so I just sold my 40 food. <laughs> I didn't get it. Oh, fuck. Okay, who is the other one then? Who the hell is the second... But yeah, I was gonna say... Um, what I was gonna say is that, yeah, I should have parked another army next to Yuan Shao's army uh, of capital as well, but apparently they can still change it on the last second. So I guess that's what happened. I don't know who the second one is. Well, let's find out, I guess. Uh, we are king. Yep. Emperor, you declared yourself emperor. Now it is time to prove it and lead China out of chaos. It's a good thing I've still got these armors up here against this fight. Because, yeah, I could send them south, but I still need to kill Gong Shizan or at least get a piece of him. Challenger for the throne, Sun Jian. Another warlord has declared themselves emperor. Is this the will of heaven or are they a tra traitorous dog to be put on the axe? To the axe, even. And dog... Dude... Dong Min, I didn't realize he could. <laughs> I didn't even realize he could. I honestly didn't realize that. Oh fuck! So we have to fight Lubu for sure then at some point. Well, at least he he's really his faction's really small, right? It's just this. I don't know if he's got anything else around here. Kingdom of Zhu. I guess he does. Yeah, he must have more than that, but not like a lot. So. Oh, what the fuck is this? Um. Okay, that's Ma Tang. Fine, that's not. I don't like the armies though. Okay, uh, so Dong Min is the other one. Puppet Han Emperor abdicates Dong Min, Dong Min. What? From Dong Min by Dong Min. Times have changed for all. The Emperor Long, a puppet of other warlords, has abdicated. Within the Han Dynasty has ended. Who will bring peace to our turbulent lands? I'm still at war with the Han Empire though. Mandate of Heaven, become Emperor of China, five grand. Thanks. Unite what is divided. Your mandate is righteous, but other. Petty warlords and kings have proclaimed themselves as false emperors in an attempt to threaten your rule. United what is divided and overthrow these pretenders by capturing their seats of power. You must unite China under your rule. Ten grand. I gotta take the Kingdom of Wu capital and the Kingdom of Zhu. Or Zhou. Zhou. What the fuck? Oh my god. Okay, I guess they own all that land. Oh, no fucking way. It's all the way over there. <laughs> you put it right in the goddamn corner of the map. Oh, I thought I was close to finishing this. Not that I care, I'm enjoying this, don't get me wrong. But I thought I was legitimately close. I thought it, it would be right here, but it's it's not. It's not there. Because I it zoomed in on this, like, I'm like, what the, what is this, like, is this outside of the map or something? Oh, right, it's right in the fucking corner. Okay, well, that one's comparatively close then, still. I mean, I've got an army literally bordering that province, so I don't know how that's going to work out, but... Thing is, though, I imagine if I take this land, it doesn't mean that it's automatically like, Oh, well, I guess you got my capital, we give up now. I'm assuming that's not how it works, but I don't know. The second visit. Ah, you return to the Sleeping Dragon's Cottage for the second time. You meet Zuga Jun, his brother, as well as his adoptive father, but not the elusive one himself. This is becoming frustrating. I'll come back. Don't worry. Alright. Here it is. So yeah, this fucking war with Gong Shinzan is completely run now. So I guess we'll just have to keep an army here. Just to protect ourselves, and then hopefully Yuan Shao will do... Or Yuan Shu at this point is actually... Yuan Tan, actually. We'll do um, enough work there, and we have to send our armies west. At least that means that this army is going to be immediately able to, or is ready to face off against potentially Dong Zhuo. Um, I need to also have a quick look at diplomacy. Oh, that's cool. Because I, as I understand it, yes, I do indeed understand it correctly. The Han Empire is no longer at war. Oh god, they don't really want peace though. What if I add a trade in there? No, you don't even want trade, alright? Well, fair enough. Speaking of, anyone want to trade? Nope. Demand abdication. Yield their position and recognize the blessing by the gods under demand. Your blessing. Yeah, they're not going to do that. Okay. Um, I could... Oh, wow, you can actually still peace out with them. Interesting. That's not going to happen. When it says maybe, it means that you have at least the resources to do it. So if I were to... Well, let's just actually show you. Gong Shinzan. Negotiate, make this work. I have to give him a piece of land and a ton of money and a bunch of shit. So yeah, that's not what I want, obviously. Um, 
I do want to peace out with you, but I'm not going to be able to give you 41.6 worth of shit. I'm not going to give you any land. So I have to just deal with them for a while. Which is a bit more problematic than I thought it was going to be. Fuck, this... Ah, uh, wait, no, yeah, I am. A, well, I'm not a war of you, am I? That's actually kind of interesting. I'm not a war of Sun Jan yet, so I don't have to technically attack him here. And I might not even want to. I might actually just move my army up to the capital, take it, and then make him say, like, yo, I'm the fucking emperor, so... I don't even know. Okay, Han Sui is available. He's a, an actual... Legendary character. Oh, he's 63 years old already. Oh my, I actually want to... I kind of want to just hire him just to take this, I, these items off of him. Which I said I wasn't going to do, but if he dies, you know... <laughs> if he's dead, you know... Oh, I can get a Prime Minister now. Can I make you my Prime Minister? What does he even give me? Redeployment, cost, armies, armor for all spear infantry? Uh, oh, that's, that's his personal stuff. So it's only actually redeployment cost available armies. Ooh, I, might, I could make Sun Ren my... Prime Minister. Morale, satisfaction, satisfaction. That's freaking shit. I need to check who gets the best bonuses. 12% melee damage for all shock cavalry. Um, honestly, it's probably gonna be one of these characters. 5%. Oh, corruption, the reduction. That's pretty good. Oh, what about Zhuge Liang, though? He could be one of the important ones. Oh, he also gets a uh, marriage thingy. El eligible for marriage when I put, pop him in there. Bonus experience for units per season, that's pretty good. Morale and defending, that's fine. Satisfaction, satisfaction. I don't know if that's him. It's probably faction-wide, which is always nice. But not that I need any more, to be honest. Kind of tempted to do that. I'm currently getting a bunch of shit from him here, though. Holy shit, minus 40% <laughs> construction cost. I think getting him in here for the corruption is just worth it altogether, though. 50% armor for spear infantry sounds very good, but I have six spear... Well, no, I've got, like, six and then two in every army, but I don't have a lot of spear infantry is my point, so that's not really that good. So I actually think it's going to be Zhao Yun. I honestly don't know. No, the Sleeping Dragon might be better. Um, still no fucking children being made here. I don't want to put her in there because I don't know if that means I can't get kids anymore from her. Make air! Actually, yeah, you know what? What if I made you my air? It's just the morale, satisfaction, satisfaction. Kind of tempted to make her my air until she gets... Um, until she, until we get ch kids, and then I'll make the kids the heir, of course. Guess I could do that. No, if I do that, then then fucking soon, then <laughs> I'm gonna get I'm gonna get assassinated, and uh, soon soon Jen gets my entire goddamn empire. Uh, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do this though. Um, you're my prime minister, Zhao Yun. Maybe I'll make Zhu Liang my faction heir, because he's coming. Okay, now I've got two em uh, empty slots here though. I can't do that with you. You guys are all pretty shit at being... Um, being... Uh, guys. You're being you're, you're pretty shit at being guys. Income from all sources? Fine, we'll just do it for that then. So whatever has the mo most income, I guess. That you're not even going to look at the numbers, just that whatever. So this one has got the highest, so you're going to go in there. And I've got one more available. You know what, Han Sui? You're probably quite good as an administrator anyway. Recruiting you. He's 50 or 63 years old, so he's definitely gonna die soon. I'm not gonna use him as an actual unit. He's a fucking unit though, isn't he? Well, okay, hold on. We're making five grand a turn almost. And let me just check this out. Check this out, boys. Oh, oh that was like 1200 bucks right there. Alright, so I need to. God, there's so much... I thought it was, we were going to be fighting this episode, but it doesn't appear that that's going to happen either. Alright, so yeah, you're um, you're you're too old, man. You're too old to fight, but you're good. Um, you're going to get an honorary position, if that's okay with you. Uh, I'm going to need to take these... I'm going to confiscate your weapons, though, because you don't, you don't need those there. You're going to keep this, because it's actually your piece of armor. I can't give you anything else. You don't need a cool mount anymore, though. You can just use that shitty one. And then you don't need the cider. Oh, right, I was going to... I'm going give, to give her my bow, so I'll do that now, so she has a bow at least. Uh, okay, and then, um, do you already have a good mount? Oh yeah, you've got a really good mount, actually. I have no other ladies currently. Well, you're the most likely one to actually start fighting again, so I guess I can give you this one. 
Um, and then that one. No, that's expertise. Well, we don't really have any... Well, we do have a lot of sentinels, actually. What am I talking about? We don't really have any sentinels. <laughs> um, you've already got that military Gito. Yeah, I don't have any more sentinels. Oh, no, never mind. You need one. There you go. Perfect. Okay. So, I, yeah, I took his shit, which I said I wasn't going to do, but I'm actually... I'm still going to be using him, right? He's not gonna be. He's not gonna get fired. He's gonna become a administrator, which I imagine is something he's very good at. Yes, definitely. Okay, anywhere where we have loads of income from commerce. So 180, uh, 310. Dong, definitely. We must have fired the guy who was here before. Okay. Sounds pretty good. Okay. Um. Also, having all those people fired now. <laughs> and you know, God damn it, all those spies, it's completely been a waste of time. I even made my war here harder by doing that. God damn it, I didn't expect Dong Min to be the faction to join. I, I didn't even know it was possible. And Soon, Wen, or, uh, Soon Jian is like strength ranking 5 or something. How did he become... He's 2 now. I don't know how that changed. I guess you're actually 5 now. You're free, which still means that I'm number one. I am number one. Uh, okay, well, fucking right, let's move on. Yeah, Hansui is, um... He's the guy who starts all the way over here, in this piece of land. He's, uh, he actually starts allied to Matang. Alright, build some buildings. Our income is still good, so we can actually build another army if we need to. Yeah, they all change their capitals, so I guess that's a thing that happens. But a devious attendant, whatever. Alright. We got all that shit out of the way, so it's time to fucking murder people now. Right. You need to, you don't need to be there anymore, because we're not we're not a war of him. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the fuck I'm running I'm running you south. ASAP, I think. Or maybe I need to fight Gongshin Zan for a bit. Let's just run you back this way at least. What I'm thinking is I'll just put this army in here, put this army um, like run this army that way basically and then just you know move them over the problem is that I'm yeah I still need to actually kill a couple of um, his towns so we can you can see it here by the way uh, so we can actually get a piece of him also we've got the palace guard elite units unlocked now which I actually should be able to recruit right away if I wanted to oh shit Oh no, actually, that, that unit's not special. This one's been available for a very long time. I just never recruited it. It's also really solid. G Militia might not actually cut it anymore. I might have to imp uh, increase. It's a lot more expensive. But anyway, this is the unit we just unlocked. Ooh, that's really good as well. Doesn't have a shield, but... Uh, I should really, to be fair, compare these two. Okay, so this one's got more morale. more. Oh, it's got a very high charge bonus. This is more of a flanking unit, it seems. Um... Very high attack rate, very high attack rate actually. Uh, really good melee damage, but not quite the same armor piercing. But that's okay, we got the cavalry for that. Um, very good armor. Sorry, no, that's melee like block or whatever the hell it's called. Melee uh, defense or whatever. Uh, no shield, so that's the big one. But I've got a lot more armor actually than these guys do. These guys have 53% armor, the same speed. And the same arm or missile protection. Even though they haven't got actually uh, shield, which is pretty interesting. They've also got loads of formations. And they've got um, Scare. Oh wow, this is actually a really good unit. It's just incredibly expensive. Spear wall. Okay. Yeah, I think we're going to have to take these guys. It's uh, going from 60 upkeep per turn to 305. I could, I guess, just you know take like four of them and have these guys still on the flanks or something. I really like the spear unit too, but I don't see, you know, this unit just looks fucking amazing. Let's go for it. Oh, they're incredibly expensive to recruit, I just realized, as I clicked the button. Fair enough. There's another unit we unlocked as well, but we'll look at those in a minute. I'm gonna do this though, so that this army is at least a fucking... Because this is going... This army is going west, right? This needs to be as good as fucking humanly possible. Uh, the other unit we unlocked is the Defenders of Earth. This is... I guess we can look at them here. It makes more sense. So the Defenders of Earth are... Not a regular unit, you can see they've only got 60 men in them. They have zero damage, uh, zero like archer damage, but they do 1k ex like uh, armor piercing damage. Um, because essentially, yeah, they've got lower range as well, not an incredible amount of ammo, and again, they've only got 60 men. But they fire like a special type of ammunition that just blows shit up to pieces. 
Um, I really, I think the main thing is we better cavalry, but they, we haven't got any available, so there's not really much of a choice there. Uh, I just about was able to afford all those, so yeah, we're gonna leave you. I can I'll start moving you right away. Take a little bit longer to replenish, I think, but it's okay. So do you have military access? You you broke my military access agreement, so I can't actually go through here. So I guess I'll send you up this way to attack that port. The thing is, he could come from down here, and we'd kind of be fucked, but I'm still gonna do it. And you're gonna go into force march dance actually while doing this. Right, so I don't actually know what to do with you, because is, is Sun Jan going to declare war on me? He fucking hates me right now, so that's probably going to happen. So maybe I will just keep you around there for now. Or maybe I'll just be the first to make the... You know what, If he's going he's gonna to declare war on me, so let's just take his town. Uh, oof, okay, hold on. Kingdom of Zhu loves it. He dislikes it, Yuan Shu dislikes it, Gong Shin Zan dislikes it, Zhang Yan dislikes it, Kong Rong dislikes it, Wan Tan dislikes it, and Yu Dai dislikes it quite a bit. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
I almost want to adopt him to make him a faction error, but... Okay, so what... You would probably be quite good at any of these roles, wouldn't you? Uh, as an administrator. I can't actually say see, but... You're definitely getting recruited into an army. Oh, that's cool. What is that? Is this because I'm the faction leader and I'm... We're a big boy now? Uh, you've got to level up. You're going for... That one. And we only get that one, yes, for sure. Right, Zugliang, we got a level up for you. We got six level ups. Oh, we can actually just determine what you want to get. Okay, so you have Way of the Wind, range damage, armor piercing, and base increases for 60 seconds. And if there's no effect range, so I'm guessing it's everyone on the field. Pretty good. Uh, you got that one, and then you got, oh my goodness, the side of the dragon. Visibility range and for a spotting. Not too worried about that. All right, we definitely want to go for these three things, so you're definitely getting all of that. And then I guess we want to go down. Well, we def. I don't know. We def I f this is good, but it doesn't seem that insane. Just gives me massive range visibility, but I'm not too worried about that. Um, we want to get the range damage increase, and I guess, yeah, that's it. I don't think I have to think about anything else. We needed to get those free. Alright, so you become really good when you're leading an army, I'm guessing. I'm give you that one for now. Ooh, your crane feather fat. I don't even know why if you, you haven't got this equipped automatically, but range damage for crossbows. Yeah, people. There's apparently. Um, I saw this something on Reddit or something. People saying that um, he should have had his. Oh no no yeah, this was apparently people were saying that Chinese players were uh, downvoting or like giving negative reviews on Steam about Free Kingdoms, be and one of the reasons was that Zhuge Liang didn't have any special uh, unique crossbow units apparently, which seems like a bit of a fucking well, stupid thing to do, but. Okay, so we get range damage increase for crossbows, which is not something we can use at all right now, because we haven't got any crossbows, but still. Um, oh, fuck me, there's so many things to look at now. That looks like a unique character, just because he's got a long name. Alright. One thing I want to check, actually, is... Ooh, trade agreement, hold on. The Han Empire, because we're no longer at war. I can make that work. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. Uh, worth 1279 bucks. Don't mind if I do. Should have actually seen if... Oh, actually, I can still do that. Um, do you need any food? You're poor on food, equal on money, which is okay, I guess. So, Han Empire. What about taking some food from me? Oh, God. Oh, goodness. Oh, no, yeah, that's not gonna happen. What I wanted to check, though, when I came into this is, uh, Ma Tang, do you want to join our alliance? Ooh, no, you don't. Nor does he, actually, for that matter. Alright, well, I definitely want to get a non-aggression back with you if you want it. Ugh, that's expensive. I've got any ancillaries. I've got a weapon for you. How about this weapon? Do you want it? It's for you. Uh, I've got another eavesdropper too. There we go. Now, actually, I'll take the plus one point two just to make him a little bit happier. He's poor, poor anyway, so he wouldn't have given me much money regardless. Yeah, so let's keep our Western Front a little bit safe, right? Uh, Liu Da, you still love us. You're actually one of the few people who does. I really prefer if you just kind of left that. You want to unify with me? Yet? Oh, it's getting so close. What if I support your independence? From the yeah, that actually would I would that would be worth it, wouldn't it? Oh, he still has to actually do it, but well, I, fought, I fought automatically. <laughs> we we he would be leaving that alliance essentially. Is he going up by now to sixty five? It's not going to be enough. Okay. Um, what else can we do? I need. I thought this this episode we were finally going to start oh, doing war, but it doesn't seem that way. Right, you're already in an alliance with someone else, so I can't really do anything with you. Uh, no, I don't want to declare war. I want you to be my friend, because we're starting to not like each other that much, I believe. We're on, yeah, minus three, going to minus nine, so that's not great. Uh, apparently you like me quite a bit, so that's nice. Oh, you got a marriage. Yuan Yao, your heir, with my lady. Minus 5.5. Um, we would get that character, which I'm not really... Well, I guess it's this heir. He must be getting old as well now, right? Yuan Shao just died, who is his half-brother, so I'm guessing he's probably quite old too. Um, 
No idea though. Let's um Their character will join our faction. Yeah, let's make this work. Prefer preferably without giving you all my fucking money. Oh, we got that thing just kind of laying around. I'm sure we can find a better place for that. I got some food. Yeah, you want food. Actually, I might even just drop that off. Yeah, I can give him seven food. Fair enough. Alright, I'll take your... Uh, take your air as well. Let's, let's at least, the, the friendships that we do have, let's at least, at least make those better. Um, okay. Actually, yeah, we're, let's fucking attack Tongshin Zan. Well, actually, hold on. Uh, Yuan Tan, or coordination, change target to... Really, it's mostly the armies that you gotta get rid of. Fuck him up. All right, we got this Yuan Yao now. I got Zhuge Liang kind of sitting here, which sucks. You can be my heir. Why? It's funny because <laughs> you're married to my ex-wife. <laughs> Let's make him my heir. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Um, he's actually not bad. He's got some uh, unique items. Well, he's got a unique item. Okay, well, I don't think I'm going to use him any, uh, for anything specifically. I am really tempted to recruit Zhuge Liang. The thing is that uh, I don't have an army I could really get him in right now. Do you guys not like... No, you like him as well. I Like, I, it'd be a waste not to use him, right? So I really ought to get him into an army. It's just that currently everyone actually likes each other, and I can't recruit him in here because I'm not in my own territory. Um, what units has he got on him, actually? Oh, fuck, I'm not on long in my own territory here either. Can you reach... That in the next turn. Looks like it. No, wait. Yeah, it looks like it. Actually, if I jump into the water, it would be even faster, but... Okay, you guys are still replenishing. You're gonna be full next turn. Perfect. Um, yeah, I think we'll just get him into, into this army here. In fact, I might just run this army back to my own territory. Um, yeah, so next turn we can... Actually, we can do it right now if I wanted to. I don't know if I want to. Get my supplies back as well. Uh, yeah, he's got a couple of repeating crossbowmen in there. Um, be a waste to, like, not use Kwai Liang anymore. But, hey, wait. Zhu Liang, Kwai Liang. Is that... Are they family? Have I been using, like, his, his little, uh, little cousin or something for this whole time? Um... I kind of want to do it. I just, I guess I've got the money right now to recruit as well. Okay, and I can use that other guy elsewhere. I'm not replenishing right now, though. I can't. You cannot recruit in the stands. Oh, right. Sorry. Okay, well, I should have done a lot next turn then, but whatever. It's fine. Uh, so we can recruit that guy in a different army, which is okay as well. Because that guy is still really good. It makes sense to have Zhuge Young in there, I think. Um. The only thing I'm a little bit annoyed now is that he doesn't have any role in my court at all. I want him to be something good. I almost want to adopt him to make him my heir, but... Actually, what are your faction Why I haven't checked that yet. Probably quite solid, I would imagine. Uh, oh my god, plus 10% campaign movement range and plus 15 military supplies on enemy territory. This guy is going to become my heir. I don't quite have the money for it right now, but he's definitely becoming my heir. Be my son. Jesus Christ. Yeah, four grand. Might upset other characters. Can't say that I care. Um, I could also marry them, or him at least, and also you, I guess. I can marry. Can I? No, I can't. Never mind. Yeah, I can marry him like this. Choose a spouse. Is that like choosing like a random one, or do I actually get to... Married this character to another. No, I guess that actually means that like, I married them to each other. Like, I could marry them to Zhu Jingping, for example. I don't know. Fuck me. This episode, I thought was th things were going to happen, but it's nothing's happening right now. Right, where are you at? You need to go back to deal with that, unfortunately. Go so back. let's head back. Okay. Um, that army might actually get quite young in it as well. Let's upgrade a couple... That's very expensive for a level 2 town. Let's get all the, um, again, like the minor buildings upgraded. It's like the fishing port around here. 
we're actually, well no, we're already doing that. Toolmaker here, yep, that's a good one. Anything around the river where we could easily get attacked, and I guess anything up here too. The lumber yard here, which is actually already being done. That's the city. Uh, maybe yep, some stuff around here, that's all... Oh, that's a target. I was gonna say, why is he fucking shining? Okay, there's not really much we can do. Nothing I can do here, because I'm already doing something. There's actually... What the fuck? I can't build anything. I can only build major buildings. I want small buildings. Is there really nothing I can do? I can upgrade this. Or I can build something. This is my final uh, building slot here. Building slot. Uh, this is all income peasantry. Yeah, loads of peasantry. I guess we may as well build that building now, yeah. That's fair. In fact, we should be doing that in every single town now. Okay, next turn, Zugalian is becoming my heir, and I'm hopefully be able to recruit the units in his army too. I won't be able to get all of them, but as many as I can. Gongshin Zan, come and attack me. Not with all your armies, preferably, but like just one or two. Okay, there's the first Kingdom of Zhu army, and I'm going the wrong way with Gongshin Zan, or with uh, Guan Yu, so I may have to turn him back. It sucks because I'm right there, able to take a town finally. But, yeah, he's quite close to my lumber yard around here. Uh, oh, fuck me. He managed to get <laughs> Matang and his coalition. I tried to do that. He didn't want to. Uh, and then join some war against Kingdom of Shuhan. That's me. So this guy... Wait, what? But I'm not at war with Matang yet. So what? Who, why? This... I don't even know anymore. Um... Okay. The Fledging Phoenix. Once advisor to the Wu forces, Pang Tong is well regarded as a man of great talent. The Fledging Phoenix hailed from Jing province, but was dismissed from his post. Pang Tong has many recommendations to make, should you wish to hire him. Oh my god, did I just get another... I just got another unique unit. Our unique guy. The Fledgling Phoenix. Okay, so he's not as good as the Sleeping Dragon, but... Still pretty solid. So I guess... Ooh. Is he gonna be the one to go in here? Can't be right now, but that's probably that makes sense, right? So we have all the unique characters together. Um, if I do this, I can still go on towards Chang'an, then the Jade Mine, and then turn back and hopefully kind of. Well, I won't be able to get there in time, but I can try. This is massively my favor. Oh, hello. Uh, fuck me. I need to do some battles, but not right now. Yeah, that was. Oh my god, I lost a lot of them, but. Alright. The first attack has been made. Who are you? You're Zheng. Oh, you're Zheng Jun's. Oh, fuck, she's right there too. God damn it. I have to, like, push through everything over here. I'm gonna be completely at war around the fucking world. Alright, so do you guys like this new guy? That's Kwai Liang, which you do like, but that's not the, the question. Yeah, you. Well, actually, the only one you likes Pang Tang. There's a couple of archer militia with him. I'd honestly be kind of tempted to just recruit him, but there's no need to recruit anyone. Like, this guy works already, so I, I would recruit Pang Tong at some point, probably, but not right now. Speaking of Pang Tong, uh, what are your unique things, Mr. Pang? Mr. Tong? You've got, oh, you've got a couple level ups, too. Um, definitely want that. Definitely want that. And we already got the good buff. I think we're just going to go down here for that one. Right, you've got f oh, plus 15% range damage faction-wide. Oh my god. Alright, uh, if it wasn't for the fact that I needed money, I probably should have upgraded this guy to my faction or to my Prime Minister. But obviously I did Zhao Yun because we needed the the money from his um, corruption reduction. Corruption reduction. Zhu Liang. When still loyalty in the adopted in anger and others. I just piss off like everyone in my fucking faction. Now I'm gonna make him my faction heir too. <laughs> plus 10% campaign movement range faction wide, plus 15% military supplies on enemy territory, and plus free uh, satisfaction, which actually will kind of counteract the fact that everyone got unhappy with that. Adoption Zhu Guiliang. And he's my heir. Went to war of one another. Yes, we did. We're friends. I fucking hope so. Uh, Yuan Tan is on his way to kill this army off. Good man. Fuck me, there's a lot of armies around here. Holy shit. Okay. 
We'll be fine. Uh, Recallman, or yeah, she got recalled. It's will be next turn. She'll be back. Tao Fu. That's the the kid from back way back when. <laughs> He's uncomplicated. Okay. Uh, Kwai Liang is ready for duty. He's ready for doo doo. Okay, we got a little bit of money left over. Let's go ahead and recruit these units in here. So yeah, he gets massive bonuses for crossbowmen. So I'm kind of tempted to recruit crossbowmen. Oh, there it is. Fucking hell, what am I... Oh my god, the amount of range units I've got available now. Um, okay, so the crossbowmen options would be heavy crossbowmen, which is actually the best kind of crossbowmen we can recruit. So let's actually just have a look at Yi Marks. Oh, we can recruit Yi Marksman with him as well. Oh, fuck me. Or, of course, the Onyx Dragons, which have 50 more range, lower armor piercing, though. And the same ammunition. Um... Fuck, I don't know. I'm I'm conf I'm confuzzled. I would like some defenders of Earth because they sound like they could be good, as well. To be honest, but like fire rockets or something. Uh, uh so many things to compare. All right, first of all, let's compare the marks with Onyx Dragons. So these got uh, Onyx Dragons have got more morale, more yeah, whatever the melee stats don't really matter. They've got a little bit lower armor piercing damage, but higher regular damage, and they've got 50 more range, which is pretty solid. Also pay 30 more for them per turn now. Um, and these guys, again, this is a minor thing, but they can fire whilst moving, which is fairly useful, actually. We've got uh, the Heavy Crossbowmen. That's the other option. So Heavy Crossbowmen have got, obviously, got a lot more armor piercing damage, a lower regular damage. Um, a lot less ammo, like half the ammo, which is a pretty big deal, 50 more range. And they fire a lot slower, too. Which makes me think that... I don't really want crossbows. The 25% damage sounds good, but is it really going to be that useful? I don't think so. So then the difference between these guys. The ranged is only they've got three more ammo. But that's not really something I'm too worried about. For 90 bucks per turn, I'm, I don't care about that. The melee stats don't matter. So yeah, I think I'd go for Yi Archers instead. Because then it becomes a difference. These guys, the Onyx Dragons are twice as expensive as these guys. And they might be a little bit better, but not like enough for that to be worth it. So yeah, we're just going to stick to Yi Marksman. Is eventually what the point that I was trying to make. Sorry, ye archers, not ye marksmen. Uh, so yeah, that's you guys. Right, so I want you to recruit some units as well. I'm kind of tempted to recruit a Defenders of Earth unit for the bombardment. Uh, I don't know. I have no idea how good they are. I haven't tested them whatsoever yet. Um... I think I'll get I'll get one. So I want you two more Yi marksmen. Oh, they're fucking expensive. Okay, for that reason alone, fuck it. <laughs> I'm not I'm not getting them after all. <laughs> I just changed my mind. All right, spy. We've got an extra spy slot as well now. Bang Tong can spy for me. Don't know if that's really a good use of him right now. Uh, you know what? Actually, yeah, no, it is right now. We we need spies in the kingdom of Wu and the kingdom of Zhu. Probably this one first. They'll definitely recruit him, won't they? So you go there. I don't really want anything... I don't want to disown you, but I do want you to come back. Can I make him come back? If they don't succeed, I think... Oh, you're in the family. You're in the fucking family now. Assassinate faction leader. No, you see, this, I'm spying on my friend now. This is no longer useful to me. I need you to come back. I can steal some items. I guess that could be good. Uh, I want a battle. <laughs> It's been three episodes. I personally want to battle now. Ooh, there's a lot of uh, Sun Jan's armies coming over. That's actually the Kingdom of Wu now, but yeah, it's a little Sun Jan army coming over now. I think I'm going to recruit another army soon, which means I shouldn't have used that Pangwan guy because he would have been the guy I'd recruited, but that's okay. I've got other people ready. In fact, let me just have a look quickly. She's no longer a general that I need to carry. Yeah, so these two for sure I could recruit. And then Han... No, I'm not recruiting Han Sui. It would probably be uh, yeah this guy or Yang Qian, Yang Chan would be um, someone who's melee focused anyway. Okay, so we could very easily recruit an army. Be expensive, but oh well. Right, it's time to end this turn. I think. Who's currently in my core doing fuck all? I can't fire any of these people. Maybe one of these two I could fire, but I'm not too worried about it. Kwai Liang. Wait, 
Oh yeah, you, okay, no, yeah, that's... Uh, it's like, who the fuck's this guy again? There's so many fucking names now. My court's just getting larger and larger. It's impossible to keep track of everything. Any diplomacy that I can do, I guess. I need to... There's so many things to look at now, it's ridiculous. Meal. That's going down somehow. Um... Anyone want to unify, oh, unify me? No. Peace out? No. Alright. Nothing I can do. Fuck it. Hmm. Huh. That was pretty good, I think. Oh, fuck me. There's another army right there. Um, like right here. This, uh, this is not going to go well here. Then again, we can move on Chang'an very soon. Oh, that army's actually right there. Oh, in fact, we can attack that one right now. And it's in Force March Town, so that would work out very well. I love how far he can move, especially now with the extra 10% movement as well. Okay. Uh, oh, fuck me. We're at Ma Tang as well now. God damn it. Spy dispatched. Good luck. War coordination target cancelled. Is he dead? Or is it just, just lose him? He's taking that mine, so apparently now he's like, where did he go? Uh, they did kill a couple of things though, so I can actually attack these guys in the water. I imagine they'll run away, but I might be able to chase them up far enough. I could actually get caught out here very easily. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna delegate that, so that's killing off a couple of Gongshin Zan armies. I don't even want to take his land anymore, I just want peace at this point. Who are you? Um, You're just a couple of dudes. I don't really want any more characters to be honest. I definitely don't want any more of them, so I guess I'll release him. And G Ben, I wouldn't mind another champion. But this one's not. He's maimed as well, no, that's terrible. You can you can go off as well. I'll take the replenishment, I don't really care about 119 bucks right now. Alright, well I ooh a rare talent. Oh, fuck me. I don't want I don't want random people. Ru Huey. I'm afraid I don't need you right now. Alright, while I very much doubt this made any kind of difference, let's just have a look. No, 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 no. Nowhere near what I need right now. Alright, you can make your way back. I can't attack two armies at once, so I'm gonna have to pick my moments, right? I could potentially send you over here. And maybe attack that salt mine. I won't be able to do it next turn, but... The biggest one is, like, what if Kong Rong is going to get asked into a, a war as well and just completely fucked immediately. Alright, rivals. Whatever, I don't even know who you are. It's the guy I just fired. Recruited and fired immediately. The water clock's quite good. Alright. Anyone who literally... Literally anyone who has an open... Uh, item slot somewhere. You. There you go. You can have your replenishment. Alright, uh, don't care, don't care, whatever. Government, Grand Excellency, Zhang <laughs> Lu, fucking beast of a man, working his way up through the ranks right there. Alright, one more turn of replenishment here, we'll be uh, good to go, although again, I'm not at war with them, but... Alright, you're gonna definitely do that, we're gonna do that battle this turn, even though it's gonna, or this episode, even though it's gonna take quite a while. This place is becoming incredibly unhappy, increasingly so. Kind of thinking I might need to upgrade the town to increase the population because that's probably yeah that's the big problem. Let's upgrade the town here. Uh, and then any other thing? How much food have I got? Twenty. Not enough to really start trading around a, lo uh, a lot. That one's good. Where does get the administration office now? Just to have something. No, probably not. Just give me something. Nope. Alright. Okay, so no new army recruited this turn yet, but we also don't have that much money actually anymore. 4k per turn. So yeah, we've got ugh, fucking Matang right there, and then right there. I can bring this army back, but if I, the moment I bring him over here, I bet you they're going to declare war on me. I'm just going to have to recruit another army over here somewhere at some point in the not too distant future. First of all though, you're going to get fucked, son. Enemy ambush filled, fuck. There was another army. <laughs> the fucking AI is playing this one smart. What the hell? I didn't see this one coming. Holy shit. 
That's some smart fucking AI right there. Trying to ambush Guan Yu. Alright. <laughs> Shit. Did not see that coming. Oh man, that's a lot of fucking strategists. They love their strategists, apparently. Okay, so we're definitely outranged. There's a lot of archer militia, though, but they unfortunately have four units of crossbows, which outrange me. We technically outrange them, of course, with this thing, but even then. You're a bit wounded, but luckily these guys aren't. Alright, well, at least it wasn't fucking Lu Bu trying to lay an ambush for me. That would have sucked even worse. Let's do it. Apparently we're about we're supposed to lose this one. But uh, they haven't seen my Pearl Dragon boys yet. Kind of shit that I haven't got a shield on them. It's this amount of range units, especially the armor piercing, are gonna fuck me up. And uh, the forest doesn't really help either. Man, things have uh, gotten a lot more interesting recently. I think this campaign is uh, gonna start becoming quite difficult after all. Oh, I haven't got. I was gonna say I, I almost have full. Um, deployment. I could just put my army here and start murdering the reinforcements, although that is the main army, actually. I'm actually quite tempted just to set my army up here. If these guys had a guerrilla deployment, I definitely would have. Um, Alright, well. Ooh, they've got like a the glaive infantry, so they got a different icon. Also, let's have a cheeky peek at them, actually. They look pretty solid. They're incredibly heavily armored. It's the first heavy... Infantry enough. God, they're super slow though, which kind of sucks. And these guys took a lot of damage in that uh, auto resolve earlier as well, unfortunately. Okay, so they're definitely going to try and meet up, I imagine. So let's actually put our army here. No fire arrows in these guys yet. Okay. Um, and I'll put you guys up front. And then, like, put them basically like that, but obviously I can't right now. Uh, you've got Vanguard deployment, you've got Vanguard deployment. Still waiting for him to get his uh, incredible, incredible ability, by the way. Alright, and the Cav can um, just kind of go back here for the moment. You guys can go in the forest. Alright, and Guan Yu. Ooh, they're actually in range already. They were actually going, well, they're still going there, but I'm going to be able to fire at them at least, which is nice. That said, I don't really care too much about those guys. In fact, I should, wonder if I should just send Guan Yu at them, and Zhang Fei, start murdering this army. I don't think that's a bad idea. Get the army ready, but in the meantime, you guys can go fuck everyone up over there. Kill a couple of generals, maybe. Uh, I'm even considering not firing right now. I don't think I can do enough damage for it to be worth it. Just to make sure I put it back on um, Fire at Will again later on. Alright, it appears they may have actually put their ar armies basically ready to receive me here. Can't see anyone. I saw someone there earlier, but I guess he disappeared. You actually are just gonna go and assassinate those guys. I don't want to have you fight units, because you're not that good at that. You, however, are pretty fucking good at that. Well, you can kill the archers, I suppose. Anything we can do to weaken them a little bit. But yeah, actually, no, fuck it. I'm attacking those those guys. You need to stay away from them and attack the Saber Militia unit here. You need to go kill those guys. Like, a single hit from you is gonna fucking murder everyone. Okay, you're destroying them. No real surprise there. And boom, look at that. Fucking a third of HP in a single hit. Just murder a couple generals before the fight even starts, essentially. Um, oh man, these guys are still arriving, but they've essentially done so now. Okay, you're starting to take some damage. You kill the archers over here. You just kill the generals for me, please. We're getting stuck in with, uh, like, G Militia and stuff. We don't really want that. Let's get out of here. We've done our work. We, I mean, we couldn't kill anyone, but we did a whole bunch of damage. We're being fired upon now. Doesn't help. Okay, we're firing back. I should have put my arch up front for the moment. I guess since I can fire whilst moving. 
start moving and fire. You keep killing these dudes. You get in there as well, actually. Oh, since they're available for slaughtering, please go slaughter. Oh, that fucking hit. Did you see that shit? He's gone. Oh, he's dead as well. Alright, just stay in melee with him for a bit. Yeah, just get a couple attacks off. Don't, like, charge or anything. Just attack this dude. Fucking kill him too. One more attack. Go on, kill him. Kill him. There we go. He's gone too. Alright, go over here. Uh, and, um... Duel someone for me. Because you're getting a bit low now. We need to actually do a duel so we can get our HP back. Alright, seems like we killed this, uh... Initial army pretty effectively already. We fucking taking damage from this fire. What the hell? Yo, what the fuck? Where did this come from? Yo, what the fuck? Alright. It's like I want to duel you. Character can out of range. Oh, so they did, they both want to duel you. Well, that was a poor choice. You need to stop firing. Oh, in fact, you're actually out of ammo now. 10% remaining. Fuck. You guys are on. Holy shit. I didn't realize I'd wasted that much ammo. That's not good. Yep. I don't care who the fuck wants to duel me. We're taking it. This is a Vanguard too, so that's even better. The only problem being we're going to be completely out of fucking, like, just caught out there. Uh, Alright, time for you guys to stop firing. That's, uh, that's enough. Alright, we lose the first bout. Judging from the fact that my horse is all the way over there, I'm guessing no. Take that, fiend. It's been a while since we've seen Guan Yu in action like this. Nice. Not fighting your hardest. Why don't you go kill those units for me, actually? Oh wow, this guy's getting slaughtered. We got 28 seconds. It'd be nice if we could do it. We get a massive buff if we do it. One or two more proper hits and he'd be dead. 20 seconds remaining. Not gonna be able to get my ability off again. Uh, no. I don't want that one. Oh, he took a hit. Come on. One or two more hits and he's dead. Nice. Got him. We should have had him in time, although that's still going. There you go. So he's back to f almost full HP now, which is pretty good. Alright, man back up. You go kill their calf. Should be able to take those on without too much trouble. Get mounted back up, son. Oh my god, he's gonna get attacked before he even gets on his mount. Please. Shit. No. I don't want to get... That's, he's taking a lot of damage already. Kill that guy. I'll take him dismounted. Okay, let's lead him back towards my arches at least. Which are... Off fire will. Probably would have actually fired already if I didn't do that. Alright, are you... Are oh, you running towards him? Is he dismounted too? What the... Oh, he dismounted honorably beforehand already. What the fuck? The Bafinduba! You're being chucked about, Guan Yu. Maybe uh, do your special attack. There it is. Oh, fuck, he's a champion. I didn't even realize that. Okay, go and attack those guys. Actually, never mind them for a moment. Let's get in here. You're gonna run straight for this G-Militia. I don't want that. Fuck it, you're doing it. Are you winning? Oh, fuck me, yeah, you're winning. We got 24 seconds to kill him, and we got massive boofs as bo boofs? Massive boofs! Alright, you definitely did that too. Alright, now get back on your mount. Which is all the way back there, and then go kill this guy for me. You're, uh, kinda... Oh, you need to stop them. We are out of ammo on all of our range units. Fuck me. This guy's not got enough cunning, apparently. He's not, he's not cunning enough. Alright, we're gonna have some trouble there. Send in the reinforcement, boys. Fuck me, there's a lot of shit over here still. Don't kill the crossbowman, actually. That's the biggest problem. Are you, di are you mounted yet? Yes. There you go. Alright, go murder this guy for me. Ignore that spear unit. Alright, we've got some rounding going on. Yeah, that unit's having a hard time. That's why I put these guys in there as well. You need to get in there. Actually, we just need one unit for that. So kind of go over there a little bit. 
This unit's definitely going to be killing very quickly. I'm holding back a lot of units here, but this is not really great. Okay, go kill this guy. Try not to run past him, just attack him and then stay next to him. That seems to work a lot better. Oh, we're routing him down. Okay. Um, got them done, Zoid. He needs to get over here now. You're chasing that unit off, that's fine. You guys are actually okay in melee. Just kind of back, like, in there. Don't really... What the fuck? That was weird. Don't, like, charge in... Ah, I had cavalry! I totally fucking forgot I had cav in this battle. I've been doing so well. Did we kill that guy, by the way? I think we killed the other general already. I don't see him anymore. Shang Fei is getting a little bit low here. Fighting a few too many spears by himself. Let's get him out of there. These are spear guards as well. Yeah, the cav. That probably would have been useful if I used them a little bit earlier. Oopsie. They go oopsie right there. Here they are, though. Start charging all the spears as well from the side. I don't care if you're a fucking spear unit. You, know. you get charged from the side, you're getting out of here. You get charged from the side, you fucking leave. Come on, give me a mass route. All the generals are dead. Come on. Get the fuck out. There goes one unit from those two. Well, at least I got my calf here now. Oh, you can keep killing them. So I can kill all this shit off. Cross from unit there. How have we not? Oh, I think we've done it now. There's one unit over here is surprisingly still going. Run and cross them. There you go. All right. Well, despite losing, uh, or sorry, not losing, forgetting about my cavalry, that went incredibly well. I think you all agree. That was a good... It's been a while since we had a, a battle, but that was a solid good battle, wasn't it? That was a fun one. That was a fun one. I'd like it if you weren't standing still doing fucking nothing. Actually, there's a lot of units to kill here still as well. All the infantry just running around. So I want to get on the killing too. Uh, actually, that unit's a little bit more important. You're killing them. If we can get them in there, that'd be grand. So actually, you're killing this unit. Not particularly effectively, but you're trying. Infantry really is bad at killing units. You kill them off, please. Keep killing those spear guards. Probably should triple speed this now. I have two cav in there. Let's get one of them out of there. Um, go help out Guan Yu because he's having a hard time as well. In fact, I think it's easier if you charge back and forth between several units. Cause you do that charge animation where he jumps and stuff, and that kills fucking loads of units. So I'm pretty sure it is faster to, to do that. Did he even use his ability? I don't think he did. <sighs> that unit would be nice if we could kill it off as well. Alright. That was fun. We killed a lot of shit. Oh, there's a bunch of shit that got away back there. Back there? It's alright. That unit's basically dead. Alright. Close victory. I disagree, but alright. Definitely a lot better than the uh, initial game thought it was going to be like. Uh, kills? Yeah, the archers did really well. I think switching up to G archers is probably the right choice, to be honest. I think Yi marksmen probably aren't worth it. Oh, fuck me. They did really well as well. I mean, that actually, that was probably what won me the battle, was sending them forward immediately, killing off the initial army. Basically, right away. Ooh, a brilliant. Oh, that's really good. He doesn't want to get released or uh, hired. He's loyal. Yeah, well, there you go. His friend is Oathsworn Lu Meng. This is Lee. Ooh, he wants to get. He's bright, resourceful, brilliant as well. He's just one eyed, but that's not too big a deal. He scares the enemy. Not really particularly useful either, though. Yeah, this is really good. Uh, I don't really need any more. I've already got several of these guys kind of hanging around, though. Nothing of value to steal. You've got a robe of the Omen Maker. If I do this, then uh, Lu Meng is going to be very pissed off about this. I think this guy is actually a legendary character. Or maybe he's just legendary because of that. But he seems like he, he's quite good. 
but now he's dead. Um, this guy doesn't have anything to give me. He actually is really good as well. But um, I haven't got... I haven't got I haven't got room for you, man. I'll release you now. I'll take the eight percent replenishment. That's pretty solid. Oh, can I reach them again? Oh, I can. That's very fucking good. Oh, what? Oh, that was the one. Wait, I'm sorry, but how the fuck are you guys all getting away? Luckily, I've got this insane movement. <laughs> it's because I hadn't actually attacked anyone yet. They attacked me technically because it was an ambush. Uh, yeah, I'll still take the replenishment. At this point, being in fucking enemy territory, I'll take replenishment. To be honest. Okay, now, the thing is, I might want to turn this army back around, because we've got Ma Tang and this army to contend with now. Alright. Oh, we became friends, that's good. We became friends and then you lost... Oh, Relationship. We got that rope, All right? <laughs> this is now your rope. I hope you like it. Um, okay, nothing else I can give you. Okay. Cool. Um, I really, uh, yeah, I should have ended the episode there, but let's just keep going now for this extra turn now. What else have I got to do? I think I've already done everything this turn, haven't I? Uh, I'm pretty sure I already built all the buildings I was going to build, but now that I've got more money, I guess I can go around building more buildings up again. Uh, this place is, like, happiness here has also become a problem, so I guess I'll build that up. I think the, mo the biggest thing is we just need more money. Oh, that's it. Okay. All those numbers going away all of a sudden. Okay, I don't know if I've looked at diplomacy yet, really. He wants peace. Oh. Oh. The ki the, it's kind of funny, isn't it? Because I he's like the one person I don't really want to peace out with because... I'm going on the offensive against him, but it will basically stop him from attacking me. So I can focus Guan Yu's army on stopping Ma Tang. I can fully focus on this battle here, this war here. And I guess Zhang Zhang will be, still be at war with, because that's Gong Shen Zan asking him on in. Like, if I could peace out with Gong Shen Zan and all of the people that I'm at war with because of him, that'd be grand, but I can't. So yeah, I think I'll take this piece for the moment. This is like a temporary piece. Maybe I even get like trade out of it. No, no trade. Can you give me some land for it? What about your capital? <laughs> uh, these are all untradeable. I can get... Oh, wow, the Imperial City. How much is that worth? Yeah, a bit too much, I'm afraid. As, yeah, we got 2.5. We're not going to get much out of this, but... Um, I had a good food deal with you at some point, didn't I? Oh my god, I could almost take the capital with just my food alone. I just realized that. Um, if I had more food available... Can you fucking imagine if I just... Here's some food. I'll take the Imperial City. Oh, fuck me. I think I can make this work as well. Have I got any... I don't think I've got anything left. I've got a couple of things left. This is pretty good, but... I'm not gonna actually do this, I'm pretty sure, but let me just check this. How much money would I have to, like, give him? I don't think it's ever gonna work, though. Uh, I don't have a lot of money. So, everything I've got, and then... Even then, it's not gonna happen. Never mind, we can't do that. Okay, just peace then. And, um... How much money can I... I can't get money... Any, I tried this already, didn't I? Yeah, we can't really get much out of him. So let's just become friends instead. You got nothing to give me? Nope. Alright. Just give the extra little bit of happiness. Kinu Wu doesn't like it. Ma Tang doesn't like it. Uh, Kong Rong likes it, which is probably kind of important, to be honest. Alright, so the one person I wasn't planning on going to war with anytime soon, I've just gone to war with. Um, okay, I really would like to peace out of him, but I guess now we're going to war with him, so... So Gong, or, or as Zhang Yu is now trespassing, fuck, is gonna go back. I guess I might as well start running. Because we still gotta hold off uh, Mr. Ma Tang, but that's just only that army over here now, which is probably gonna go here, and I can't really do much about it unless I recruit another army there. Um, we've got this offensive coming soon. You're just kind of holding back. We killed a couple of armies there, so that's good. As long as he does the... Well, yeah, Sun, uh, Sun Jan is, is kind of a question, right? What's gonna happen here? But for the moment, this is all fine by me. It's kind of hanging out. I've got, like, you know, if he declares war on me and attacks me here, I attack him from the side, so it sucks still, but 
you know, we could trade provinces, so that's not too bad. Uh, but for the moment, we're not at war with him. We're at war with Gongshin Zhan, Zhang, or Zheng, Zheng Zhang is still a thing, um, and Ma Tang, because he, he called those in. But he she's also at war with him. Actually, I should have considered maybe, because that's going to be a problem as well. But maybe the garrison here will be big enough. It's quite large already. I can increase it as well. Anyway, finally we had a fun, good battle, so I'm kind of happy about that at least. Okay, he's fighting back against Gongshin Zan as well. I'm totally fine with that. I don't really need these provinces around here. I'd rather just be friendly. Oh, you want shoes at war with someone? Because he's going on the offensive too. I don't mind if he takes Dongmin's provinces. That's totally fine by me. We're actually quite good mates. Uh, oh, there you go. Ma Tang is at war with him, and then... Also, one Tan, so the two bro, well, the bro and the cousin or whatever at this point. There he goes, Huan Su. I kind of saw that one happening at some point soon, but just hoping it took a little bit longer than that. But it didn't. it's another exquisite weapon, which is another Martial G. Well, yeah, I think it is another, mar another Martial G. Um, some foreign trespassers. I'll give you military access if you want it, but we'll have a look at that next time. Next time, we'll have a look at that. This army went north, perfect, so I can get to Shangjong very quickly, and then we should be able to hold him back. Alright, things are looking up. Things have changed around a little bit. This war fucking ruined everything, but then it's just kind of gone alright again in the end. I need to get a new administrator now, because we lost him. I guess I might recruit this young, young Chang guy. Anyway, uh, that's going to be that for now. Thank you guys for watching. A couple of lo really long episodes, actually, last couple. Until next time, thank you for watching, hope you've enjoyed, have a good day, and goodbye.